Hey, what is going on, all you fantastic, amazing people and fellow Fallout fans? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about the top three benefits of the new Fallout 76 Premium subscription, Fallout First. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. The number one thing I think that makes this pass worth it is the, definitely the private worlds. Private worlds offer a completely game-changing experience, and to be honest, the experience is insanely smooth in every aspect. Yesterday, I made a video on the benefits of playing on a private server, where I talked about this topic for 10 minutes. You can find that video on the channel if you want to see me elaborate on it, but just to quickly summarize, everything works perfectly. Looting, vendor interactions, combat, quests work as they should, and they no longer bug out. The same thing happens with public events as well. You can almost get guaranteed random encounters if you know how to trigger them. No more worrying about PvP. You don't have to worry about anyone stealing your junk when you die. All the resources in the world are yours for the taking. And there are a lot more benefits to private worlds as well. Like playing this game completely alone. And it just changes the whole atmosphere of the game in a great way. And if it's you and a friend or a couple of friends, it feels like you in the world and you still get that insanely uh, smooth playing experience and it's just awesome. If you want to see me elaborate, like I said, I posted a video on that yesterday. The second best thing about the premium membership is the new scrap boxes which allow you to hold unlimited junk. This is really nice because you can remove all the junk from your stash making more room for weapon, armor, aids, and other things besides junk. But keep in mind, those things still do take up a lot of weight, and that stash space does go very quickly. And it is just a really nice feature overall. Now, I have seen a bunch of arguments saying that the stash boxes are pay to win, and I want to shut all that down right now in this video. Keep in mind, I didn't want to talk about this topic in this video, but I feel like I need to. The most common statement I see made about these scrap boxes and how they are pay to win is when people say you can have access to an endless ammo supply making PvP easier, which is just a absolutely ridiculous statement for a few reasons. One, you still have to go out and farm all those materials to make ammo, and if you're an experienced player, you will know that it is a time consuming and very tedious thing to do. Now let's say for sake of argument a player does somehow have unlimited scrap which means they have access to unlimited ammo and let's say for sake of argument at all times this player has 1 million rounds of ammunition on them. Does that mean they are guaranteed to win every PvP situation? The answer is still no. If you're an experienced Fallout 76 PvP player you know that there are kind of only three factors to winning a Fallout 76 PvP fight. The first and most important thing is your skill level in PvP. This pretty much decides all fights in Fallout 76 in my opinion, and no matter how much ammo you have on you, it's not going to save you from, from an extremely skilled PvP player. And if you do lots of PvP, you'll know this. You'll know that no matter how good you are, if you encounter a better player, you're going to get the floor wiped with yourself. And it sucks. The second thing that decides who wins the PvP fight is the stronger character build. No matter how much ammo you have, if you face someone with a stronger character build than you, you're probably going to lose. Let's say the person with unlimited ammo has an extremely powerful character build. Does this mean that, does this mean that they're going to win every fight? The answer is still no. When two extremely powerful character builds clash, depending on what range it takes place and the situation in which it takes place, that usually determines who wins the fight. If you have a good shotgun or melee build, when it comes to close range fights, you're probably going to beat the other build up each and every single time if you are up close. If you have a big... Uh, if you have a good big guns and or automatic rifle build, you'll probably win most of your fights that take place at medium range. And if you have a sniper build, you will probably win all your fights at long range engagements. So no matter how much ammo you have, if placed against a character build that counters yours, you are going to lose. The third thing that decides who wins a fight has to be what weapons and armor you have. If you have stuff that is specifically spec for PvP, like Executioner weapons and Assassin's armor, you will probably win lots of your PvP fights, but it's definitely not guaranteed. Now let's say the person with unlimited ammo keeps coming back to PvP with a certain uh, player 
so many times that the other player without unlimited ammo runs out of ammo. Is that pay to win at that point? Not really. Because the other person can leave PvP at any time and most players will get bored. If this kind of situation was probably to actually occur. And most likely those that person would just stop PvPing. They would either just leave the server and or when they died on the next PvP fight they would just refuse to PvP. Now moving on and I apologize for that long that extremely long-winded rant the third best thing about this premium subscription service is the fact that it comes with 1650 atoms every month for you to spend in the atomic shop which is really cool and since the subscription only costs 13 dollars a month and you are getting 16 dollars worth of atoms every month the subscription pretty much pays for itself and obviously you can then use those atoms to purchase stuff from the atomic shop that you like such as power armor paints or weapon and armor skins and it's really nice that this premium subscription service comes with that because usually something I want is added to the atom store every month and honestly it's kind of annoying how sometimes cool things will come out every month and I can't afford them but thanks to this premium membership I can now do that because I'm willing to pay $13 a month not only to get access to the atoms, but everything else this membership comes with, like private worlds and the scrap box and the tent and the emotes and the, you know, ranger armor. Now, there are other features to this premium membership uh, that are really nice, like the tent, but to be honest, it's not great. It's just a nice little convenience. You can't craft or anything like that. You can cook food, but other than that, you can't do much at it. You could really only put stuff in your stash and or your scrap box. It's nice, but at the same time, it's not great. You could get the same benefits if you had a small little camp. So it really doesn't matter. The Ranger armor is cool as well, but it was not one of the main things I liked about this pass. I have a lot of skins, both from the Atom Shop and stuff that I learned in game or outfits that I've picked up in game and to be honest I like some of my other stuff better the last thing this pass offers is a new robot emoticon and mothman emoticon they are really cool and all but after you use it for the first time it's just not a big deal but the other things I talked about in this pass are definitely the top three benefits of having this premium pass so if you haven't got it yet I would definitely definitely get it because it is worth it anyways guys that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video i hope you did enjoy if you did like comment subscribe love you all hope to see you back here in the next one but until then remember to stay awesome and bye bye everybody thank you for watching and i'll see all of you well uh next time peace